Saturday night. Where that candy at? Where them girls at? We didn't care about the game. During my second year in the pros, I started using drugs. I had accomplished all my goals. I beat my idol. I made the all-star team, rookie of the year. I felt like I owed myself a break. We both like to do some of the same things, <laughs> and which was, you know, smoke marijuana and snort a couple lines of coke. Back then, using cocaine wasn't a, nobody looked down on you. They didn't criticize you. They looked up at you, like, you can afford that? Well, you must be rich. I um, got introduced to some drug traffickers, and I got real close with them. They became like my family. I was living my fantasy, too. I always wanted to be a gangster, a drug dealer, a pimp, a player, a hustler. I was like, I'm going to die young, I'm going to die fast, I'm going to die quick, and, and I'm going to have fun, that's it. And we bought an apartment where we all would hang and party and have orgies and, and play cards and hang out. I don't know that anyone could have had control o over this team. And, you know, Marvin was getting more and more out of hand. Sometimes I would pick up some of the players, some of the greatest players in the game from other teams, all-star players, and I would pick them up in my Rolls Royce. And I would take them shopping, take them to the barber shop, take them to eat. And then later on that night, I would sing hookers to the hotel rooms where they were and say, drain them. <laughs> Have sex with them till he can't move. It never worked. The guys would end up getting 30 and 40 points. I'd tell, and then the girls would come by later after the game looking for money. I'd say, what do you want me to pay you for? The guy got 40 points. You didn't do it. I did what you told me to. I said, you did a terrible job. After the merger, I played with four NBA teams in four years. Marvin was never the same player. Um, he, by then, he was a full-time addict. When I was with the Celtics, I did drugs on the bench, and I did drugs in the locker room. I did drugs before the game, after the game, during the game. I was just a shell of myself. He had lost all his skills. I've never seen a guy lose so much sound so fast. We totally derailed. We stopped ourselves. We destroyed ourselves. And he spent a lot of his time on the streets, homeless. I got in trouble with the law because I wasn't thinking straight. I was on a slow march to death. I was slowly killing myself. I'd have been a whole lot of things if um, drugs and alcohol didn't change my path in life. Marvin, unquestionably, had he stayed anywhere near the straight and narrow, would have been among the 50 greatest players. He was just supremely talented. 